All right, today is going to be fun. So these are the mushroom blading big block frames. And, <laughs> and they're crazy. So back in uh, probably, I don't know, a few years ago, um, the guys over at Mushroom Blading uh, decided, uh, you know, they had a really great relationship with K2. And they were working with them on some new product development. These frames were being developed over at K2 for a future K2 skate. Unfortunately, K2 never went the full distance to actually put these into production. So they pretty much died, right? So these frames were never going to be made for a K2 skate. However, the mushroom blading guys pulled some strings and were able to get 50 pair of these frames made. So these are probably not going to be available at a store near you. There are probably 50 or so uh, sets out there. They sold out within four hours. Full disclosure, the guy sent me this pair uh, for review, which, you know, it's not like they really need a review because there's no more frames to sell. Uh, but I think they really wanted me to skate them and just share with everybody what they feel like because this is a very interesting frame and it's something that they're super proud of. So, so what makes it different? Well, first of all, this is a four by 65 millimeter frame. So this is four 65 millimeter wheels. They feature the K2 six way rocker system. So each of these rocker spacers can be rockered up or down or left up and right down. You can rocker each of these wheels six different ways. The way that I have it rockered is banana rocker, which means that these two middle wheels are rockered down. The two outer wheels are rockered up. So that's gonna mean that these wheels in the middle are going to touch first, and then the outside wheels are going to touch. What's crazy about these frames is this huge grind block. So this thing is, I mean, it's, I've never seen a grind block this big. This is like a freestyle frame, which, you know, is a frame designed for grinding. Doesn't have middle wheels. If you imagine a really short freestyle frame, that's what it could look like. Now, how did they do this? Well, they said, I'm not going to worry about UFS. UFS is the mounting system. It's two bolts in the front and the back that mount your frames to your boots. And it's 165 millimeters from the front to the back. 167, sorry. However, they said, forget that, we're just gonna go higher. We don't care about that bolt. So they went higher, as you can see, the back of the frame is a lot taller. So this wheel has distance so that it can clear that UFS bolt. So it's a taller frame, but it's also the widest frame that I know of for grinds. This is crazy. So why rocker it then? Well, because this wheelbase is so long, from one to four, it's like 290 millimeters. That's a really long wheelbase. It would feel like you were just skating trail skates, you know, really long strides. You would have a really difficult time turning. If you rockered it, then these two wheels touch first, so you'll have a much better time uh, swerving around and making turns. So I have them set up on my uh, Rossi's Fifth Elements. Um, I really like these skates. I think they're great for grinding. I'm here at Marsh Skate Park, and I'm gonna give them a shot. So, a uh, couple, a couple observations. First of all, skating rocker is a trip. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel all over the place. Um, you know, I love the stability that I get skating flat, and I'll even skate any rocker just so that I have that longer wheelbase. You know, like 270 from one to four. If you're skating airs, if you're just doing spins or something like that, it feels really good to have that solid landing. This is the opposite of that. So it's very squiggly. Um, you know, coming down a ramp, I feel like I'm going all over the place. It's, uh, it's gonna take a little getting used to. I don't know that it's really designed for this any either, like bowls and stuff like that. Maybe, 
Uh, the wheelbase feels long, like I could feel myself hitting the, the front and back wheel a lot. Um, yeah, it's a very different feeling. It's kind of hard to hard to put into words. I'll, I'll, I'm going to do a few grinds right now and see if I can uh, uh, expand a little bit on it. Soul tricks feel great, uh, no surprise there. I still get a, um, you know, skating this rocker, when I'm setting up for grinds, I like to have like my path. And I just kind of skate and then I coast a little bit and I have that path and I can stick on it and I can time it properly. When you skate flat versus any rocker, you're less caught in the train tracks where you do have a little bit of wiggle and that can screw up the angle as you approach. I get that a lot when I'm coming up fakie, like for a fakie porn star or something like that. Zero spin porn star. Um, I'm gonna get even worse with these, of course, because it's rockered. I mean, I feel like I'm just wiggling all over the place. Um, yeah, getting the angle right on uh, zero spin is really hard uh, for me. I will say that um, something about 65s, I talk a lot about coast and the feeling of coasting. Uh, that's a feeling that you get really pronounced with bigger wheels, like 100 mil, 110s. There's a lot of coast with these 65s. I feel like I'm skating the same amount of strides as I usually do, but I'm getting to the end of the grind like where I set up again, I'm getting there faster and I'm not skating as much. Um, so yeah, 65 definitely has a much better coast than I was skating like 58 Zanny Rocker last time I was here, I think, which is a really great thing. Um, the Rocker is a little bit, uh, little bit weird though. All right, let's try some groove tricks. All right, so groove tricks. Groove tricks are tough. Uh, the problem for me, and it might not be a problem for you, you're probably better than I am, but the problem for me is I can't get boot down. The frame angle that I get with the frame, it's just so high on these fifth elements that as soon as I get low, I start slipping out. And uh, <clears throat> as soon as I slip out, I start losing the confidence. And then I compensate. So I got a few in. Uh, pretty tired, so I'm going to take a break. And uh, maybe try a few. I don't know. Let me see how I feel. I'm exhausted.
Alright, I gave it a shot. I'm just so tired from falling. Um, I have confidence that I'll be able to get this. I mean, I got my Royale. But it took a long time, and that Royale does not feel right. I mean, I haven't watched the video, of course, but... I know I wasn't fully boot down. It's just really hard to get really boot down on these things. And, uh... I'm not a great skater, but I'm, I'm good enough to know that most good enough skaters are going to have a hard time with these frames trying to do groove tricks and royal tricks. Uh, soul tricks, stuff like that, you know, it's fine. It skates fine. Um, I don't like the rocker, I'll be completely honest. I like a shorter wheelbase and I never liked the, um, the R100s with the banana rocker. It was a very specific tool for a very specific job and to be honest, I don't know what the specific job is for these. Like, I don't know what these are designed for. Um, big front sides, I could see. Uh, I didn't do any front sides by uh, choice, but I did some by accident, and they slide great. And I think that's fine, you know, if you're skating transition and, you know, you want to do backsides, front sides, stuff like that. Uh, it feels amazing skating 65s. That feeling is good, but I think these probably would be better with 60s. The profile of these wheels also isn't great. Uh, they're very flat, and I'm getting wheel bite on uh, on Royals when I go up too high. I might try these with 60s. Sweat in my eyes. Ugh. I might try these with some flat 60s, just to see what it's like. Um, I know that's what uh, Joey and Todd skate, so I might give that a try and see if it makes any difference. But yeah, as, as is with these wheels with this setup, I'm not a I'm not a fan. Uh, Blading community. Uh, we extended it a week because I screwed up the date. Uh, if you haven't gotten in your stair ride yet, uh, this is your last chance. Uh, back to blading.com slash community. Uh, get your stair ride in. We would love to see you fall down the stairs. Um, it's going to be fun, and uh, I hope that everybody participates. You have until uh, Tuesday, which is the third, I think. Um, I'm really bad with dates right now, but I think it's the third. Would love to see you skate. Um, Tune in to Gear Talk this week. God, the sweat's in my eyes. Ah, oh, it's burning. Uh, so hot today. Uh, tune in to, my eyeball is now closed. Uh, tune in to Gear Talk this week. Um, I got some new skates that I want to share with you, and I'll get into more details, including weighing uh, these crazy bad boys. So uh, please tune into that. Gear Talk Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, join the live stream. It would be great to have you in there, and uh, ask any questions you want. I'm an open book. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week.